Hey, hello, welcome. Friends, in this video, I am going to show you how you can write a file over SFTP server. So there are many requirements. Sometimes we uh, we face a requirement where we have to generate a file over SFTP server. That file content can be anything. It can be that you need to read the file from BI report and generate a file and you have to place the same file over SFTP server. So that can be the scenarios, right? Maybe that can be the so like you call the any REST API, you got the data from that API and we have to generate a file with that API data. That can be different different scenarios. So in this video, we will show you, we will learn how to create uh, integration which can be helpful to write a file over SFTP server. So we can write a file with the help of two, uh, using two approach. We can write the file with the help of file structure. So as sometimes we know that what will be the file structure and sometimes we don't know what will be, what is the file structure. It means that how many columns are there in the file and all. So we will use both approach, right? So in this video, we will talk about only the writing the file with the file structure that we will define that in the file that much of column will be there. Something like that. Okay. So let's begin. So first we need to create integration, right? So let me show you first here. If you will see in the SFTP server, we have the file. We have this invoice AP underscore invoice this file over the, this directory. So what we will do first, we will read this file and then we will create, let me create one another folder here, AP invoice and let me create the folder as AP invoice reverse feed. So I have created another folder AP invoice reverse suite. So what I will do, I will read the file from this directory and I will create a, or we will write a file here in this directory, in reverse suite directory. But what I will do, if you will see in this file, this file, let me show you the structure of the file. So here, if you will see, this is my data file, right? present of the SFTP server. So what I have to do is that we need to create one file. That file will contain all the data, whatever data available in this directory, right? In this file, plus some additional columns. So some additional column, what will be the some additional column? So let me show you that one. So let me create a new Excel here. Some, maybe the scenario, some additional column will be that integration instance ID. Let me put that instance ID integration date something like that so you have to generate a file that file will contain two more extra column that integration id and integration date so when we have run so suppose we have run two days so it will be 26 10 2022 something like that and the inst instance id will be whatever instance id will be there 12001 for that same right so we have to generate file like that so let me save this structure so that we can use this structure while generating the file. So now let me save desktop SFTP. Oh, sorry, I see SFTP. And we data file structure reverse dot reverse. Okay. And this will be CSV file. So let me save as CSV done. So our file structure is ready. Now I have to create integration first to read the file from server. So in previous video, I have already done the activity, but in this video, I will also do so that it can be the better practice. So here I will create one integration. XX write a file on SFTP01. Okay, just create. So as you know that when we create any schedule integration, we, we got Two endpoint in initiate. So right now, the our first uh, first aim is to get the file from SFTP server. Okay, so that I will add FTP adapter, and now I will select the read operation so that we can read the file. Read FTP. Now next, we have to provide the directory from where I have to read the file. Right. So here, this is the AP invoice folder where we have to read the file. So I will copy this path. And this is the file name it asking. So here we have the file name. Sorry. So this file name I will copy. Yeah. 
so with the help of this endpoint i will use i will read the file from here right so it asking for the file structure right so here i will provide csv and i have already the file this file right so i can use this file as a file structure so i will upload the same file here and r r s okay so here i will make all the column as optionals in except the first one and now the next done so here uh, with the help of this endpoint we are able to read the file from sftp server and now we have to write the same file with the some extra columns right so again for writing the file we required ftp connection so here i am going to drag ftp connection and now it will help to write so i will use write ftp right so that we can easily identify just next so here we have to select the write operation right write file when you will select write file operation again it will ask you the directory from where you have to write right ask you the directory where you have to write and the file name what kind of file name you want to write so here i will give the directory so if you will see this is my sftp directory let me log in again okay so this is the directory from where i want to place the file or write the file over server so i will copy this directory here i will provide the directory here and now here you can see file name pattern so in while creating the file over server you can provide the fixed file name fixed file name something like that apinv and like whatever you can apinv file one file dot csv something like that or you can use sequence so oracle ftp connection provide you the sequence or file format date format so here if you will see if you click on this question mark icon you can see the sequence the file file pattern what pattern you can use if you will use seq it will generate a sequence from one and it will add here if you will use ddmmyy this structure it will generate the file with the name this kind of sequence so let me use both apinv rev rev it means that reverse fit something like that and underscore i will use seq seq percentage so here when we are using seq percentage percentage so what it will do it will replace this seq with the sequence the sequence which oracle ftp generates right and after the underscore i just want to provide this value something like that dd mm yy so here we have a structure yy mm dd so i will provide these things right so y y y y m m and d d d sorry and percentage so runtime it will replace this with the date for date year month and day this sequence will be replaced with one two three sequence and the file name will be remain same right so here you can use encryption decryption also but i don't want right now to use any encryption here if we have append to exist file once we will click tick here it means that if the file any file available with the same name that will be replaced right so i don't want to do anything just now click on next so once you will click on next it will ask you the file structure so yes i want to provide the file structure so that i can provide the mapping right if i will not provide the file structure we need to pass the file reference right so i will provide the structure yes csv next and yes you can see i have created one file with this two extra column and name is that inv data file structure reverse file right so i will provide the file structure here this one reverse file structure reverse so it will provide r and rs and here you can see we have one two extra columns instance id and instance date integration date i will provide these two value in mapping all with the rest of values so i will select this one okay and here if you will see use first row as a header so it means that here we is this data file we are providing a structure like the first row consider as a header yeah it's true so just next sorry somewhere we have done okay we have to make one column as mandatory now next and done so here now with the help of the second endpoint write ftp we will be able to write the file over server but before writing the file we provided the structure right so we have to provide the value for to the mapping right so once click on the mapping you will get option in the right side rs this is the 
request set and here this is the request and here you can see this all are the columns whatever column available in the file so we have to provide the value for this mapping of the value so this invoice id will be replaced with the file we received from the server with the help of read ftp so as we know that we have multiple file multiple data in the file so we will do map this loop with the here and now this invoice id with this invoice id invoice number with this invoice number invoice date with the invoice date is invoice amount with the same invoice amount invoice currency invoice description supplier and now we have to map this to value so as we know that we are not going to get this value from data file so from where we will map this instance id i know that we like no we can get instance id from here only this is the integration metadata once you will expand this integration metadata inside that you will get integration details so where in this integration details you will get integration name short name and all in the runtime details you will get the instance id so here i will map this instance id now it's time to put the integration date so integration date means that the current date so from where you can get the current dates just right click and click on this create target node so here you have to provide the value you have you have to provide the mapping for getting the current date we have function in yc right so here you can see once you will click here you will get this components function right so here if you will search current date see you are you will get that current date function just you need to drag this current date function here only take this now done so our mapping is completed it's now ready validate and close yeah so here we have one error we have to remove this error so this error is related to the tracing variable so let me finish this tracing variable issue also So now it's in a, uh, removed. You can see that we don't have any error right now. So we have to save this integration, close. And now we have to activate this integration. This is the final step we are following. So it will take time to activate. So now you can see this integration is activated. We have to run this integration. So once you will run the integration, click on submit now. Yeah. So it will generate you the ID 12004. This is our instance ID. So once you click here, you can go for the tracing, right? So here you can track. So once, yeah, you can see that integration is completed successfully. If you will check the log messages, everything is fine. We don't have any error, right? It will take some time to give the log messages. So just you can reload again. And here, if you will see here, everything whatever we have added in the integration you can see the mapping here or you can see the log message here so in read file you can see we provided the file name right so here if you will see the file name what we read from here there is that this one file name right whatever data we receive here if you will click here you will get the data right whatever data available in the file and the same data we have mapped to the right ftp so in right ftp here you can see that we are not provided the value so in send to write ftp send to write ftp we have provided the mapping in that mapping we provided the details so what kind of details we pass you can see the invoice id 100 invoice number and the last two element instance id you can see this is the instance id we provided while mapping and this is the integration date here you can see that this is the integration date we provided right so our integration is completed let's verify from the server only right so here if you will go to the server and this is the same directory api invoice reverse feed directory just refresh and you can see that this is the file api underscore inv underscore rev and this one is replaced with the cq as eq and this is the format with whatever we provided yyy mm and dd so let's run the integration again okay so here if you will see let me navigate to the integration so that i can check the tracking right and here this is the one right a file over server let me run this integration again so once i will run the integration you can get easily one two double zero five so here we have to check the log messages yeah one two double zero five it's executing so it will take some time to success or error get error it means that it will take time to complete the integration right 
so right now it's in in process so yeah you can see it's now in success so once you will go to the server and again refresh you can get the same file here api and v reverse one two it means that the sequence is working fine this is the date format right and now if you will see the data inside the file just double click on the file here you can see the data whatever data available in our output file but there is one missing here you can see we don't have header we don't have header in this file why we don't have header if you will see the reason behind not having the header file is that when we read the data from sftp we didn't get the header why we didn't get header because we have not mapped the we have not ticked the header part right so let me resolve that one e also right deactivate and here if you will see i will let me show you right so while reading the file from sftp server only here you can see we use use first row as a column header it means that when we use the tick here it will skip the first row so when integration reading the data it didn't read this first line that's why we don't have the data so let me untick this one okay now next so here sorry we have to provide one column as mandatory so here you can see the header is also coming here right so just name next done so here it's giving error in mapping so let me map again so here you can see the target mapping for the target is not valid click here for more details okay so here if you will see the mapping so yeah so here we remove it's remove all the data because of that it's changed the name right so what we need to do is that we need to map again so map so first we have to remove this mapping or directly once you will click here you will get option right so just remove this one and provide this one mapping save click here c2 drag so c2 drag save same as for all the columns select c3 drag why it's showing c1 c2 c3 here because of that we remove the tick from there so once we remove the tick it's replaced the all the column name as a c1 c2 in the sequence right so this one now in was distribution so we know this all this is coming in a sequence so this description and the header part this one right so now everything is mapped here just click on the validate and close save close and let me execute let me first activate the integration and now save so let me run this integration now so here i have run this integration the 06 and let me check 06 here once it will complete we'll check the file from the server only right 6 completed so once you will move to the server refresh and you can see that this is the third file right now we got so once you will open the file you will get the header also right you can see this is the header why it's showing header because we we read the file with this header only right that's why it's showing here right so this is the way you can write a file over sftp in next video i will show you here if you will see in this integration we provided the file structure while reading the data or while writing the data so in next video i will show you how you can write the file without even passing the file structure so we will read the data and we will directly map the data may file reference to the ftp server only okay here if you will see here we provided the mapping in mapping we provided the data right we provided the value what value will be in the file here but we will not provide in next right while writing the file we will not provide we will just only provide the reference so how we will do in we will check in next video thank you so much for watching